Thank you for calling the Hellenic Snack Bar and Restaurant. Temporarily, we are not taking reservations, not taking reservations, not taking reservations. Seating is on a first-come, first-served basis. You have 35 new voice messages. To listen to your voice messages, press 1. First message. Hi, I'd like to make a reservation for uh, four people around 2 o'clock. Next message. Hi, my name is Stacy. I'm sorry I reached you after hours. I was just wondering, are you taking reservations? Next message. It's Friday. I'd like to make reservations for two of us for dinner. We're planning on taking a ride out tonight. We were wondering what uh, if we would have any problems. I was wondering if you are accepting reservations for Sunday, Father's Day. Thank you for calling the Hellenic Snack Bar and Restaurant. Temporarily, due to limited seating, because of social distancing policies, we are not taking reservations. If you still feel the need to make a reservation, press 8. We're not taking reservations. We're not taking reservations. We're not taking reservations. If you still feel the need to make a reservation, press 4. want to make a reservation? Press 6. Mumsy, is it true Hellenic is not taking reservations? It could be true, my love, but it never hurts to ask. We're not taking reservations right now. We're not taking reservations. This past week was just a super challenging week and I decided to get away with my two sons and go to my favorite place on the whole planet, which is Block Island in Rhode Island. And I figured that on the way we would do some fishing. It turned out to be so ridiculously cold that we didn't do any spear fishing, but the fish were basically jumping in the boat. We were catching striped bass and bluefish left and right all over the place. Bluefish is one of those fish that you either hate it or if you know how to cook it, you love it. And here's something quite interesting. If I had a choice between eating bluefish or striped bass, believe it or not, I would choose the bluefish. The whole trick to harvesting bluefish and enjoying it is bleeding it when it's fresh. And if you can't use a technique called ikejimi, which I show you how to do in one of my previous videos, the link is up top, you have to, at the very least, bleed it out and keep it on an ice, ice and salt slurry until you're ready to cook it. Hey friends, my name is George Gianaris. I'm a chef of 35 years and if you're tuning into this channel, it's probably because you're like me and you like to eat healthy, save money and cook like a pro. So hit that subscribe button down below. It's All it's gonna do is give you a little notification every week when I release my videos, usually on Saturday. It's totally free. Some people think that you have to pay for a subscription. No. Just hit subscribe, you get a notification. When you bleed out a bluefish, you really don't need to take out the dark meat. However, most people don't like the flavor of the dark meat. The dark meat on the bluefish tastes a little bit like liver. Mostly on any fish, that dark meat is not really that good. So you can, if you want, take out the majority of it by just slicing it off, trying not to take away the white meat. The way I make bluefish, and everybody absolutely loves it, is by making a burger out of it. I could write a book called the I Hate Bluefish Bible. I literally have dozens of recipes for bluefish, and this is one of my favorite recipes, and that's what we're gonna do today. I wanna start out by taking one large pepper or two medium peppers and just cutting them up into very coarse pieces. So I'm gonna do the same with this onion, just big, pieces. We're going to take our two medium peppers and one onion and add it to the food processor and pulse them up until they're minced. We're going to add two pounds of bluefish to our food processor. 
when the bluefish bowls up and becomes combined, it's done. We're gonna add two eggs to this mix. One full tablespoon of granulated organic garlic, one and a half teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of Celtic sea salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and the juice of half a lemon. And we're just gonna mix this up. So this mix, it's gonna be quite wet, and we're gonna bind it with almond flour. I do not recommend that you use regular flour. If you have to use a wheat product, which I don't recommend, use panko breadcrumbs. In its present state, it's not formable as a burger, it's too moist. So I'm just gonna add a little, mix it up, add a little bit more, until we get the right thickness that we want. This needs a little bit more. It's safe to assume that we added a cup of almond flour to this. It smells fantastic. Ideally, you want your burgers to be between six to eight ounces. You want it to be kind of thick because you don't want it to dry out in the center as it cooks. The blue fish is an oily fish, <clears throat> so we don't need to add any oil to this. If you were to make this with striped bass, I would recommend that you add some fat to it, like some butter, because striped bass is a very lean fish. When I was filming this, it was so hot out that I decided to just cook it inside, but this would work extremely, extremely well on a barbecue, especially if you had like a grill mat. It's critical that every part of this burger is seasoned properly. Now I know it's a little difficult to believe that bluefish can be this delicious, especially if you've had a bad experience with it in the past. But I'm asking you to trust me and give this recipe a try. If you go fishing and you get your own fillets, please make sure you bleed out the fish. It's a night and day difference. If you can do it Ikejimi, do it Ikejimi. If you can't get your own bluefish and you need to get it from a fish market, just ask them to remove the red meat for you, the dark meat, or remove it yourself. Give this a try. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you again in a week. Hey friends, my name is George Gianaris and I'm here to pump you up. <laughs> I challenge you to give this a try. It'll become your instant favorite. Mm. Man, this is so delicious. I should really. <laughs> mm. Don't even think about it. It's mine.